Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm learning a song called Mari's Wedding about a gal named Mari, who's apparently Scottish because it's a Scottish folk song. And um, what do I want to say about this? I don't know, I, I transcribed it onto paper, but I don't know a lot of the concertina markings to use on paper. I learned the marking for, for in and out, but I don't know like fingering versus uh, a reminder of which button to actually play if that's even ever used. People who are good at the, the concertina probably kind of know that already. Um, but I really wanted a button for, for this because in like choir sheet music, you'll have breaths. Does, uh, do I get to use this, this breath button there? Like, can I get a, get a reminder for what a, when a good place to use it might be? So I came up with something and I stuck it in. You'll see it up on screen as I play it. So there you have it. Weird things about the song. Um, the non-chorus part uh, does something that I try not to do. Um, I've noticed it's, it, it just gets so much easier. If half the chords are an out chord and half the chords are an in chord, which happens to be the case with the chorus. With the non-chorus where I'm playing it way up here with I really wanted um, not to use a low G sound, instead I wanted to be a lot higher, but that's a that's an inward pushing chord, but that's fine. Except for the fact that uh, now I have three in chords and one out chord, and I can't exactly hold this longer to make up for it, so that was the spot. That was the spot to, to suddenly use that um, the breath hole, the air hole, the air valve, and you actually saw it in the sheet music, the little Q above the um, uh, pulling out symbol. Extend, pull, whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's my progress so far with Mari's Wedding. Maybe next time I'll play some uh, Tetris or <coughs> something. Who knows?